So I can see maybe you, have, you still have a friendship vibe. But then have you with Yaku vibe? No, we don't have, there is nothing like... There's, if you met him right now, what would you tell him? I wouldn't look at him. If I have something to tell him, I think I'll do it on Twitter, I'll make a video. But are you getting royalties from Yaku Vibe's music? I'm not getting, funny enough. You're so funny enough. <laughs> and I, I, don't get I recently it. got to know that he actually took percentage from other producers claiming he was going to give it to me, but he never spoke about it. Wow. And we, we are still learning way back. Now I know about split sheet and all, but yeah. I wasn't deep in it. Yeah. And he knew about it, but he never spoke to me about it. It was just recently that Kubi told me he actually moved to him. That I asked Kubi about the royalty, just like yeah, that. yeah. And he was like, Kubi said he was going to give me some of the royalty, royalty, and that he took some percentage from Kubi's own, so I can get some. Hey yo, you ready? Are you mad? So easy. Mad? Yeah. Are you mad? My name is Kojo Manuel, and this is a mad culture. Yo, what's good? You're welcome to A Mad Culture. My name is Kojo Manuel, King of the MRC. And uh, today we have a very special guest. Uh, somebody I've been wanting to have a conversation with for a second. But before I tell you who it is, I'm sure you've seen because the name will be there. But like, subscribe, comment, do all them good things. We have one of the most amazing producers to come out of Ghana here with me, Vax. What's going on, man? The man, are they cool? Man? Everything nice. Everything nice. So, um, it's been a minute. Um, I've been wanting to have a conversation with you. I actually did not think that this would be the circumstances under which, because I actually wanted to work with you, okay. right? But interestingly, um, there's been a lot of things happening, especially on Twitter, um, that has to do with your relationship with certain artists. But before we get into that, I want people to know who you are properly so we can talk about that conversation. You as a producer, in the name Vax, how did you come? Is it like your actual name or was it a nickname? What is it? Okay, so Vax was given to me by my big brother. Your big brother? Yeah. Every time I think of vacation, vacation with a katam shot. I mean, everybody has a way, way, the yeah. katam, yeah, and that's cool. Yeah. yeah. But, then, but then from your side, from your brother's side, what was, what was the reason why he picked Vax? You know, the funny thing is I asked him that, um, what's the, um, the mind behind the name Vax? And she didn't really have... He didn't have any reason. He <laughs> didn't have a meaning for it, so... Ah. Just go with it. It's just Vax. Okay, but what's your actual name? Francis Evans Aka. Francis Evans Aka. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's, but that's dope. That's dope. How long have you been a producer? You've, you've done so well for yourself, but yeah. I don't know how long. Let's say about 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. But congratulations on a lot of the hits. Um, I think when it comes to certain genres, we are more noted for certain genres. But I think the hip hop yeah. side more. Are you like naturally a hip hop person? Okay, I do everywhere, you know? Yeah. Um, I think maybe you know the hip hop. I know the hip hop. Me more. More, okay. But there is my name by Stoneboy, which is not hip hop. Yeah, get it. true though. By family, which is not hip hop. I, I think the hits in the crowd, most of them are not hip hop. Really? Yeah. But, but funny I enough, I think it's the hip hop that I know you for. Oh, okay. Maybe you yeah. know hip hop yourself. Oh, I, no, I do. I do. I, especially Ghana, Ghana, Ghana hip hop. I feel like whenever we try to move away from it, I feel some way because I feel like we are more a hip hop community than even an Afrobeat community. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because I feel like um, our artists really get to show out when they're on hip hop songs. Yeah. yeah. But I think that people don't really love the hip hop. I, I think it's a phase. They it's like a to phase. Dance. Yeah, it's a phase. It's a, so, yeah. Yeah, it comes and goes. Yeah. I know. But, but regardless, um, for, for someone who's been in the game for like 15 years, what's the, the first, let's say, song that put you on, a, on a, some sort of level where everybody wanted to work with you? Okay, so it started from. Hitmaker time. Okay. Uh, well, I had a I had an opportunity to produce for MTN Hitmaker. Okay. And that was around 2013, 2014, there about. Okay. Yeah. So I would say that was what you know put me out there. Yeah. yeah. So what song? Followed by that, um, we did Sokolala. Sokolala. I don't know if you ever heard that song. Oh, I know the name. 
DJ Lord. Friend. So okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I know the name yeah, from. Yeah. So that one came. Then later on, Messi by Darko vibes came. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Would you say that being a producer has been lucrative for you? Oh, of course. Mm. I don't think I would have survived life if I wasn't a producer. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very lucrative, like you said. I mean, talking about surviving life, would you say your background was being a producer, like something that saved you because maybe the option will really day? No, not just the producer, music itself. Music itself, okay. Because yeah. um, uh, my mom died around um, 2016. Okay. Yeah. And I had to survive by myself, you know. So I had, um, I, I used to play keyboard at church, you know, and get paid for it. Okay. So that was where everything started that, from. Okay. So, yeah. So music as a whole. Wait, which, which church be? Which church be that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ Deliverance Church. Well, where is it? And it wasn't like one church. It was like, was like a shabu kind of vibe. Okay. So you go here, you get paid. You go here, you get paid. Mm. Yeah. But sometimes when I think about people that you know, sing or play in churches, I feel like it will be every time they like to pay you. Sometimes they'll tell you that, oh, it's a Nyami Juma, it's God's work. Did you ever well, encounter no, that? Day, but I mean, I don't agree for it. <laughs> so you go. Because so far as you are taking money as a pastor or as a church, like, yeah. I'm out for, but they give up free and things. Yeah. So, I mean, you're not taking it to God. Yeah. God is almighty. He doesn't <laughs> need money to buy something. Yeah. You get it? Yeah, so... I will say this year, so. So did you ever experience like playing at a church and then after that they're like, oh, money no day oh, or yeah, something? Yeah, but I don't agree. So what, what would you do? Because oh. I feel like, you know, if you fight faster or... Oh, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not there to fight, but I go move to you. <laughs> what's up? Yeah, what's what's up? up? Oh, money no day. I think mean, I, I see the police that they give collection. Yeah. How many you know yeah, that's that's, uh, that's maybe, an interesting. The only vibe, thing bro. I can say is maybe some pastors were not paying me like they were supposed to pay me. Right. You understand? Yeah, but it's not as if you'd be like uh, No. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I understand. So uh you mentioned twenty thirteen. Twenty fourteen. Uh, twenty fourteen. Yeah. Um what song what song would you say is notable around that time? Uh, from you. That was the time I went for Hitmaker. That's when you went for Hitmaker. Yeah, but so it was after so that, that I had... came out around okay. 2015, 20... no, 2015 there about. Okay. Then Mercy came around 2016. 2016. Yeah. So Mercy was when you started working with Darko Vibes? No, we were working years before Mercy came. Really? Yeah. So they have songs prior to Mercy? Yeah, a lot of songs. Okay. So tell me about, obviously now we're going back to the Twitter conversation. Yeah. Um, I did not have any idea of there being any kind of rift between you guys. So I want to know, how did you meet Darko Vibes? Okay, so in Malam, I was, my studio was in Malam, as, as in, my studio is still in Malam. Right. So we were in Malam. Right. Darko was in Malam too. So there was this guy who came to me, his name is Roxty. Mm -hmm. He's a friend. And before that, I knew Darko in the area, but we weren't that close. Okay. So it was this friend that came to me and he was like, oh, there's this guy who is very talented and he wants me to put him on. You get it? Right. So fast forward, he brought Darko to me. I listened to what he was able to do as a then. And I felt like he had something. Even though he was raw, as in raw talent, mm. I felt he had something. So we decided to work together. Okay, so let, let me ask you this. Prior to you having Darko come to the studio, yeah. was Darko already like, you know, putting music out and no. stuff like that? My studio was the ever the, the like first, first ever studio, studio he, he he came to. Yeah. Okay, okay. So okay. So now he comes in. You see that he has the raw talent. What happened? Yeah. So then we decided to work. So I decided to. I want you know as a kid back then I wanted to I had dreams of um, owning a record label. Right. Get it. But okay. you need money to run to run such stuff. Yeah. So there was a record label called M House Music. Okay. But we didn't really have the money to run it like we were supposed to run it. Mm -hmm. like we were working as, you know, we were supposed to work. Right. Like recording him, teaching him how to go about music, you know, how to write songs, how to, and he was actually a rapper when I met him. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, that was how everything went. So, um, what was the first, so Messi was the first big song from Dark from Dark yeah. Vibes yeah. and yourself. Yeah. Okay, so then obviously, Darko Vice was with uh, Lamem Gang. 
before he met him? No, no, around the time that we, got the ordinary people, got to know him. So based on his relationship with an MM gang, did that affect, you know, your relationship with him? Because then he was working with a collective of people. Oh, no, not at all. Because okay. this was the thing. When he came to me some time ago, and it was like, he wants to go his way. Okay. You get, like I said before, we were trying to come up with a label. Even right. though it was, everything wasn't in place. Yeah. We were trying to do something. So he was like, oh, he wants to go his way. Is, is this before Lamem? Yeah, way before Lamem. Okay. So I was like, oh, why not? If you want to go your way, it's positive. Okay. And we're friends aside of work too. So okay. we kept on vibing. We kept on working. I kept on recording him for free. Okay. Regardless. So then, it, so then uh, when he said he was working away, he was... Speaking of the, say, the, the label and the, that the idea, that whole dream yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. He wanted to do his own thing. His own thing. Yeah. But then you were still recording we're still him, recording not charging him. Friends were biting yeah. like we okay. did before. So then, even when he joined La Mem Gang, that relationship was still there. It's yeah. not like now he left you or the anything, but he'll come back to you. saw La Mem Gang form. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I was there when Space Lee, RJZ, and there was, there was nothing like La Mem Gang as at that time. Okay. You get it. Okay. So I knew the boys even before they decided to come up with the name. Yeah. Okay. So then, if it was like this, then where did the differences start coming from? It started when he had his first hit. That was Mercy. Mercy. Yeah. So he wasn't linking up. I mean, my point is, if we are friends mm -hmm. and you blow up or you get to some level, yeah, we should still stay friends if you are real. You right. Know? Right. Yeah, I don't have to feel like, no, you've changed or you, are, you have a different vibe altogether. Mm. You get it. So when Messi came about, he wasn't coming to Malam like before. It's not yeah. like before. He didn't want to stay Malam. Yeah. So he wasn't coming to Malam at all. Okay. You he wasn't staying there anymore. Uh, his family was there, but he moved out okay. when the hit came. Okay. Yeah, so he wasn't coming to Malam at all. Mm. He wasn't linking up. The friendship wasn't like before. Right. You know, I remember there was this day, we were best friends. I mean, me, Darko Vibes, Makem. Yeah. We were best okay. friends. Okay. Yeah. So there was this day that um, someone called and he was like, I, I saw Darko Vibes celebrating his birthday and I didn't see you guys. Yeah. And it was like birthday with my friends. Mm. Okay. Okay. You, are, you understand? Yeah. And it was on TV, it was on Foresight as at that time. Mm. So the person was like, ah. He saw something like, as you say, Daku is celebrating birthday, and the the name I'm like Be Daku with Daku friends. And friends yeah. yeah. So and we know that Daku will be your one yeah. of your best friends. So yeah. then why? You yeah. So that was how everything started. Mm. Yeah. Now, hmm. you mentioned that he used to come to the studio yeah. to come and record. Even when he said he wanted to party. Not just recording, but we were friends. We were we friends. Did everything together. Yeah. We used to sleep in the same room. Okay. We together. We okay. Did almost every. We went to shows together. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So then, after he moved out, he still used to come to record, right? After he moved out, he moved out of no. the Malam area and stuff. Then he wasn't coming there anymore. Mm. He wasn't coming there anymore. Mm. Hmm. So do you do you feel like when he made a song like Mercy and it blew up? Yeah. And he was making money. Did you ever like pay you? for maybe at least a studio session. Zaku has never paid me before. It was only this one time, uh, Famame. Yeah. Zaku uh, vibes between Peruzi. Okay. It was only that time that I forcefully took money. Okay. Because I felt like, no, you are selling out. You get yeah. it? Yeah. So when he asked for the data of the song, I told him he should pay. Or if he doesn't pay, he will lose it. Yeah. Just delete it. Hmm. You get it? So that yeah. was the first time I actually... Famame was when? What year is this? Um, I, I, I don't think I can remember, but some years ago. From it was a yeah, Palogo I'm, album. Oh, uh, Palogo is 2021? I don't know. Or before or after COVID? Because I feel like it should be around there somewhere. Before, I'm sure it was before COVID, just before yeah. COVID, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So then you had to like force, forcefully like be like, Charlie, if you know something. Yeah, that the was money. the only time I took money from him. Okay. Uh, and apart from that, we, we were friends, so there are times where he can buy something for you, give yeah. you a gift, I can give him a gift, that one is there. Yeah. But like, say, giving me money for payment or for a work I did for him. Yeah, that, was the first that, that, that never happened. Yeah. So dates, that's but never happened. family. 
Yeah. So this was the idea. If Darkum blows, my blows, blows, I blow, blow. too. Right. And what most people don't know is I do music too. I'm an artist too. Mm. I did most of the soundtracks for Yolo and Strike and Oh, okay. And others. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the vibe was if you move, I move. You get it. So hmm. I understand where you're coming from, but I'm just trying to find out and I know where the pain and all of that I understand it now. But then I also also want to know what was the thing that triggered you to now decide to voice out that. Come on Twitter. Yeah. yeah to okay. talk about what's going on and reply him and have the whole back and forth. Okay. So I produced an Anajo by Ajo back. Mm -hmm. And I did a breakdown, like the beat breakdown for Anajo. Yeah. Posted it on Twitter and it started trending. Okay. So someone went to my page and saw that I produced Mercy as well. Okay. So the person was like, bro, I didn't know you produced Mercy. Yeah. You get it? And I replied by saying, you will never get to be like that. I use a word, but yeah. so you will never get to Oh, be we can use any fuck shit we use. Oh, okay. <laughs> you okay. can use any cuss words, yeah. So I was like, that bitch ass nigga never will get a beat as yeah. like that. Yeah, right. So then people started asking if there was a problem. But then it means I saw it from the beginning because I saw that tweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought something even existed before that. No, there was, there was like what we spoke about. The yeah, yeah, there the, the, the was there. Yeah, but then you hadn't right about it. spoken about so, it yet. But when the guy just asked me, ah, so Mercy, you produce Mercy. Yeah. You brought everything back. Yeah. You know, you brought everything. And I was like, you know, I need to put it, uh, I need to talk about it once and for all. Yeah. Myself and for the industry too. Right. You get it. Yeah. So when I made that um, tweet that you will never get a bit like that, mm. people wanted to know more. Yeah. Um, I started explaining by tweeting. Yeah, by tweeting about, about it. I felt like I wasn't, like I couldn't flow more. Mm. You get it. And that was how come the video came about. Okay. So I did a video on TikTok explaining the whole thing. Yeah, explaining the whole thing. Okay. I'll, so in all of this have you spoken to him about the issue like one-on-one -on -one or on the several phone? times we've tried to resolve it several times and he told me this i am happy with the new friends i have found and if we all make money we will be happy wait this is something he told you recently no when i tried when to, when you try to no, wait, but he's me, talking about new friends that's not including you let, let me not leave out Jump Off. I don't know if you know Jump Off. Jump it's Off. a producer and he was part okay. of a click. Our click. Okay. So okay. it was Jump Off, Makem, myself, and Dark Vibes. Right. And Jump Off produced uh, Stay Woke. Okay, uh, okay, Vibes. okay, okay. You got it. Okay. So he saw that you are the big boy. Among we all, you are the big boy. Yeah. Why not try link him up and resolve the issue? Mm. Like call him, regardless of whatever he's doing, that like, yeah. he doesn't come around. Like, so it was jump, jump Off that was giving Darko Vibes a call to try and resolve the issue? Jump Off told me to, to call, call Darko, Darko Vibes to resolve, resolve the issue. issue cause I'm okay. a big boy here. Mm, okay. Man. Yeah, and I did that. So when I called Darko Vibes, that was, that was when he told me that um, he's happy with the new friends he has found. Mm. That when we make money, when we all get money, we all will be happy. I feel like there's there's certain layers to a statement like that because it. yeah, it's like I found new friends and I'm happy with them. And when we make you money, me then those friends. Now you should also make. You money. should also make, make money. money. We all we all go be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to read on that because um. If I for suck something. Um, yeah, if I suck something, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Um, because if somebody I've known slept in the same room with done a lot of things for free. I mean, probably done things for each other. Yeah. Gets to a point where he's not, he's become popular. He's doing well, well, relatively well compared to yeah. the rest of us. And then he decides to cut us off and reach out to him and this is what he says. Okay, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Is there a moment in your life where you'd say that Kovacs put you on to let's say working with somebody else that maybe generated money for you? Um, you know, we are friends, so we moved together. Yeah, right. So, um, I remember we went to our 2 mm -hmm. And that was how come get, getting all the ones came about. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say he put me on necessarily because before we met our 2 mm. now I do money me. 
which featured Mugis. Mugis, yeah. So we are going to connect no matter what. No matter what, you get yeah. It? And this is his vibe. He knows what he can do to change your life, mm. but he won't do that. Yeah. You get it? Okay. You get it? Like okay. putting, connecting our two bees and myself, what's going to happen regardless? Regardless. You get it? Yeah. Yeah, but the main thing that you for do help your brothers, you are not doing You're that. You are not doing that. You know, it's like, when you're a liar, you need to tell a bit of truth. So when you when lie, you, <laughs> you get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, in all of this, in recent times, since the Twitter back and forth, because I saw that Darko Vibes was doing an Ask Darko Vibes thing. Yeah. And then um, that I don't yeah. say exactly happened. Somebody asked him something and then you came to reply. What was that question like? Do you remember? The person asked why he's not replying. Me. Replying you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think he gave some funny some, comments. Yeah. yeah. Within all of that, I mean that I, you can take it differently any way you want to because I can say maybe you have you still have a friendship vibe. But then have you with the Aqua vibes? No, we don't have. There's nothing like. There's so so. When's the last time you spoke to him on the phone? I remember like four years ago. Four years yeah, ago. Four three years ago maybe. If you met the him last right time now, I spoke to him on the phone was when I was telling him that he should pay me for the. Peruzzi. Also, oh, after that, you've never spoken yeah. to him again. Maybe that's his problem with me because I took money for, for something I rightfully really deserve. Hmm. If you met him right now, what would you tell him? I wouldn't look at him. No. I don't have anything to tell him. No, like, you see the way we are sitting here, there are people behind the cameras and all yeah. of that. The Aqua Vibes walks into this yeah. club right now, and then we are done with this interview, and he's standing here waiting to talk to you. Yeah, I mean, Did you have anything you want to tell him? No. Nothing at all. No. Are you beyond? The thing that if I if I have something to tell him, I think I'll do it on Twitter. I'll make a video. But the person is here. Um, <laughs> if the person is here, you know. What will you talk? <laughs> if you want to talk, like you come house. Yeah. Yeah. You know that you left your boys behind. So so for you, are you? Have you like? Are you done with that conversation, or are you still open to? Having a conversation with, with him, with him no. to, to resolve the issue. No, I'm not trying to resolve it. Because yeah. the thing is, if you point a gun at me trying to kill me, and mm. fortunately for me, there is no bullet. Yeah. Or the bullet runs out. Yeah. At least I still see the intention yeah, of what yeah, you wanted to, to do. Kill me. Yeah. If you don't want me to eat, if you don't want to put me on, mm. so I'll also eat like, you know, yeah. that was the initial plan. That was what we all agreed on. Yeah. As a click, me, Darko Vibes, Makem, Jump Off. If this one moves, this one moves. That's the vibe. Mm. So if you reach there where you know, uh, it's not just me. What yeah. did they do for Makem? They don't do anything for Makem. But Makem, they serve him now. Makem went to stay with him, did a lot of things for him, drove him around. <laughs> he got and clean his face when he's performing on the stage and all. Yeah, he, mm. he turned him to cameraman and all. You get it? Yeah. What the Goofy talk say he do for Makem? Mm. It's not money. When I say do something for it's not money. It's about putting your brother on. Yeah. You get it? I met Jiba not too long and I have a song with him and it's his song, not mine. Right. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. That's someone putting you on. True. And that song might be on his up and coming album. Okay. You understand? Okay. So that's putting someone on. Jebad is not family. We just met like last two years or last year. Mm. You get it? That's what I'm talking about. And he's not doing that. Hmm. Do you do you think that when it comes to um your approach yeah. from the beginning? Yeah. Because this was like how many years ago? Ten years ago? Like eight years ago, right? This whole issue. Yeah, we meeting when you met that Oh yeah, about yeah, ten years. I'll say ten years ago. Ten years about ago. 2013, yeah. Okay. Do you think that now if you were to meet another artist yeah. the same way you met Darko Vibes, yeah. you think your approach would be different? Of course. What, what would be different? <laughs> I've already started them both. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do get DMs day in, day out, help me, like, I yeah. get people come to the studio and be like, help me. I yeah. myself, I didn't need help, you understand? <laughs> the thing is, yeah. I had to put my career as an artist on hold. I am an artist before a producer. That's what people don't know. Right. I started as an artist before I became a producer. Yeah. And I had to put the artist side of me on hold because I had to, um, um, I had to 
put my cam and darko on. Right. And I was the producer in the clique or in the family house at that time. Yeah. There, you understand? So I had to yeah. put me in the, my my artist side to, or, or hold, to support them to support them so yeah. during those times i wasn't really recording, recording. i was but i was making beats the more and mixing and mastering for them you get it yeah yeah so do you think right now i mean i think it comes down to the show business out yeah. of it because there's the family family and then there's a the part where you get a contract, you get a lawyer, and you sign. Yeah. Do you regret not signing like an actual contract with Aquabars? Of course. And because business wise, well, if you're a good businessman, you know you for sign contract. You yeah. Get it. Sometimes um friendship and things they come in between where they overlook certain things. Mm. But I feel like as a good businessman, even if you be up or peace safe. For sign yeah, a contract. For sign a contract. Yeah. So the new artists there, them dead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like dead. I mean, when you are good, yeah, I can meet you halfway. Yeah. Like maybe do a song for you for free. Right. Which I have a lot of artists that I have done that for. Right. You get it. But say like, I will be your, like your go-to producer that will be recording yeah. you every time, mixing and mastering every no. Not, but aside the Aqua Vibes, have you worked with any other artists that you feel has also been ungrateful? Uh, that would be life, you know. That'd but be... with them, I don't think um, they owe me anything. Mm. Because we weren't family. And right. even I didn't help as deep as I did with Darko. Right. We did a song or two. Mm. Or maybe the person paid 50%. And they didn't pay the other 50 You get it. So... Yeah. I can't hold the person responsible saying like But are you getting royalties from Darko Vibes music? I'm not getting funny enough. Not so funny enough. <laughs> and I, I, don't get I recently it. got to know that he actually took percentage from other producers claiming he was going to give it to me. But he never spoke about it. Wow. And we, we are still learning way back. Now I know about split sheet and all, but yeah. I wasn't deep in it. Yeah. And he knew about it, but he never spoke to me about it. It was just recently that Kubi told me he actually moved to him. That I asked Kubi about the royalty, just like yeah, that. yeah. And he was like, Dako said he was going to give me some of the royalty, royalty, and that he took some percentage from Kubi's own, so I can get some. But no one ever spoke to me about any royalty. That's crazy. So you, you know, is that somebody who wants to see you dead? You know what? Um, I wish I could have the vibes and see what his thought you process okay is. Talk. You will get something <laughs> talk. Like, I mean, this thing I'm doing, I'm not doing it so he comes to reply or yeah. comes to say because there is nothing he can say. There is, you know, get anything to say. Yeah. I produce mercy. Didn't I produce mercy? Didn't mm. pay me? No. And no royalties. Nothing. No. To, I miss the master tomorrow. Did he pay me? No. You get this. Yeah. Evidence day. What are you going to say? That uh -huh. oh, you put me on the R two B thing. No, that's the end of it. Can R two B was going to happen? It was going to happen it. already. You get it because Payday or President wanted to meet me way back. Mm. You get it, right? Yeah. So, um, what would you tell? upcoming producer no first off before we even go to that do you have any projects coming up do you have anything in the works that you want to tell the yeah, people about yeah i have about? an ep coming out apart from that i have two singles out i have jungle out jungle. and i have kill me and kill i'm actually me. running um open verse challenge for kill me on okay. tiktok and it's, okay. it's buzzing okay it. yeah so i'll urge all the artists to join if they can because there are prizes to be won okay yeah okay if um you take you win you become first place uh, you get a free, you get two songs from me. Okay. And thousand series. Thousand series. Yeah. If you, nice. If you take second place, you get two songs. If you get, you take third place, you get one song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. And what do you want to tell um, all up, up and coming producers or somebody that is interested in being a, a producer right now? What kind of advice would you give yeah, them? Yeah, I would say it's not it's not easy though. Don't think it will be easy or the road will be smooth, but you don't have to give up. Yeah. You, get you, need, you need to keep going. That's all I say. That's what's up, man. Thank you so much, Charlie, man, for coming you. through. Yeah. And, and like I said, 
if I get that cover, I really want to know what he said. Yeah, you won't watch that one. That was man. So this was a mad culture with Vax. Make sure to go stream uh, his new music, Jungle, I'm and uh, my my handles throughout. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. So yeah handles. I am Vaxi. Yeah. That's I am Vax. I A M V A C S Y. Okay. And Instagram is I am Vax. Okay, yeah. that V A C S, right? Yeah, yeah. I am Vax. And Twitter is I am Vax too. As well. Okay. With a link up, me are more positive. Okay? Yeah, that's what's up. So make sure to follow him. The new music is uh, Jungle and. And Kill Me. And Kill Me. Yeah. Make sure to run that one. There's an EP coming up. There's a uh, open verse challenge as well. Make sure to go to his page, check them out, and catch you on the next one. Is the King of the MIC. Like, share, subscribe. Mad culture. Are you mad? Well, Fire can't cool. Yeah. Are you mad?